And everybody know the story of David and Goliath, but this is bigger than Trump. This is for the warrior, this is for you and I, this is for euphoria. Give me a peace of mind. God is recording this. Won't you look in the sky? Tell him that you got the behavior of your name. Yo, what up? This is Shark. Um, that's something I'm about to bring a notice to. I had to make this video. We need to inform the females of our generation that short hair do not, I repeat, do not look good on everybody. If you a female, before going and getting your shit chopped low, you need to pass some qualifications first. Nowadays, we got any female thinking they can cut their hair and go around looking like Miley Cyrus. Let me tell you something. You don't look like Miley Cyrus, bitch. You look like an ostrich. Miley should have kept her hair too. Now she look like Courage the Cowardly Dog. But anyway, if you a female wanting to get a low cut, make sure you follow the right precautions before you decide to cut your hair. I decided to come up with a checklist that females need to follow to make sure their decision is final. So first off, your body. Now your body ain't gotta be A1, but you know if you cut your hair, you ain't got nothing to depend on no more. Big girls know they use their hair as a wingman. So if you built like the mission of the man do not cut your hair because when you take a selfie, you can't use your long hair to cover up your six necks no more. This one big girl I know cut her hair after I told her not to. She sent me a pic of the aftermath. She said, Hey Shark, do I look like Scarlett Johansson? I said, Bitch, you don't look like Scarlett Johansson. You look like mermaid man nigga all you need is a starfish on your face and speaking of face that's the next thing on the checklist females if you're gonna chop your hair make sure you got the right facial features you can't have no round ass face you know you got that round ass face thinking you about to look like the host from the newlywed game when really you just look like that black kid off of hey arnold no make the right decision you can't have no big ass ears either. Cause when you cut your hair, you're not gonna have nothing to hide them big ass Obama ears. You cut your hair thinking that you look like Emma Watson when really you just look like something off a of rise of the planet of the apes. No, don't do it. You gotta have the right ears, man. You can't even have attached earlobes. Let me just say something. People with attached earlobes look weird as fuck. Them shits are crazy. Y'all ever notice that? Attached earlobes be making people look like like a damn mutant. If your girlfriend got attached earlobes, break up with her ass. She a mutant. She gonna wake up in the middle of the night and bite your dick off and definitely tell her not to cut her hair. She need to hide them shits. Okay, now here's something else that pisses off guys that girls do with their hair. Females come to the conclusion that I don't wanna cut all my hair off or cut it low so I'ma shave the side of my head now I gotta say there are some females that can rock this well maybe say like one out of every 200,436 women from the Navi tribe look good with this shit my friend shaved the side of her head and decided to send me a pic of the aftermath she said hey shock do I look like Rihanna I said no bitch you don't look like Rihanna you look like Goro from Mortal Kombat. Your head look non-congruent. You come out the salon looking like that dude from the fifth element. Now when I was making this video, I came to the conclusion that this video might not be fair to some people because I had a bad experience myself, you know. It scarred me for life. I might as well tell y'all what happened. So I was with this girl in high school. She texted me one day, she said, I'm at the beauty salon. I thought I'd get my hair done like Amber. I thought nothing of it. In my head, I was thinking Amber, this actress name, Amber Stevens. She got long, pretty hair, so I was like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. All right, that's what's up. She called me up again and said, Can you meet me here at the beauty salon? I'm about to be finished. I said, Okay, that's fine. So I hopped on my mongoose and pedaled my ass over there while I was still on the phone with her. She said, Babe, I just finished. I look just like Amber Rose. I said, Nigga, what? I crashed into the mailbox, I got up, I picked up the phone, I said, Did your ass just say you look like Amber Rose? She said, Yeah. I said, What the fuck? She's bald! She said, I know, I thought I'd try it out, bae. I threw the phone in the ditch, I put two fingers on my forehead, used instant transmission, and teleported to that fucking beauty salon. I walked in, I paused, I saw her there, she said, Bae, do I look like Amber Rose? Do you like it? I said, fuck you mean, bitch, you don't look like no Amber Rose, you look like 
Little Bill, fuck you mean, nigga. You look like Gollum on a good day from Lord of the Rings. Fuck you mean, sitting over there looking like... Come on, fucking no! <laughs> Devora from Mortal Kombat. Fuck you mean, girl. You better take that green shirt off, too, because you sitting over there looking like Leonardo from Ninja Turtles. Fuck you mean, nigga. You play Destiny, you look like a hunter with no cloak on, nigga. Can't believe you did that, sitting over there looking like a bald eagle. I pointed at somebody else sitting down. I said... Here you, go get some tape. As I was picking her hair up off the beauty salon floor, I said, bitch, we about to tape this shit back on your head, fuck you mean. So this is the lesson for the females that want to chop their hair. Make sure you making the right decision. And if you're over 40, I don't give a fuck what you do with your hair. Anyway, peace, I'm out.